Welcome to Electron Line. Now that we know what prime numbers are, let's use them for the next step. The next step is to factor numbers. If we have a large number, factor numbers means we want to write that number as a product of its individual factors. So let's say the number 630, how do we find the product of factors that make up this number? What we try to do is we try to divide that number by the prime number starting with the smallest one and then moving up the list as it no longer works. For example, if the number is even, that means the number is, is divisible by 2, we can divide that number by 2, and 630 divided by 2 is equal to 315. Now notice it's no longer even, so we can no longer divide it by, three, uh, by 2. Now if we add the digits together, 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 5 is 9, that's a multiple of 3, which means that number is now divisible, divisible by the next prime number, the number 3. 3 goes in 315, 105 times. Now 105, when we add the digits together, that gives us a 6. That's still a multiple of 3, which means we can still divide this number by 3. 3 goes into 105, 35 times. Now when we add those two together, that is 8, it's no longer divisible by 3. But it ends in a 5, which means it's divisible by the next prime number 5. We can take 35 divided by 5, and we get 7, which means that 630 can be written as the product of 2 times 3 times 3 times 5 times 7. Now there's another way sometimes in which we can do this, sometimes a quicker and easier way. For example, when you take the number 630, you can see that this number can be divided as the product of 63 and 10. Now 10, we can very easily find the factor of that number, that is the same as 2 times 5, and 63 can be written as the number 3 times 21, and 21 can be written as the numbers 3 multiplied times 7. In other words, here are all the factors, just like we found before, 630 can be written as 2 times 5 times 7 times 3 times 3, of course you could put them in that particular order. So either we can go ahead and use the prime numbers one at a time, starting with the slowest, and dividing the number by the prime numbers until we can no longer do so, and then we pick the next prime number, or sometimes we can simply break the number apart into two numbers, and then we can then write each of those numbers as the product of its factors, and then combine them all together to get the factors of the original number. Okay, the number 288. Well, there's again two ways in which we can do that. It's an even number, which means we can divide it by 2, which gives us 144. It's still even, divide by 2, which gives us 72. It's still even, divide by 2, which gives us 36. It's still even, divide by 2, which gives us 18. Still even, divide by 2, which gives us 9. And finally, divide this one by 3, we get 3, which means that 288 can be written as the product of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, times 2, times 3, times 3. Or, you could recognize that 288 can be written as the numbers 2 times 144, and 144 is really 12 squared, which means that this number can be written as 12 times 12, and 12 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3, and this one also can be written as 2 times 2 times 3, which means we very quickly could come up with the factors of 288. Let's try the last example, 546. Again, it's even, which means we can divide this number by 2. 500 divided by 2 is 250. 46 divided by 2 is 23. 250 by plus 23 is 273. Well, right away, the number is no longer even. And if we add up the digits, yes, 2 plus 7 plus 3, which is 12, that's a multiple of 3, which means this number can be divided by 3. 27 by 3 is 9, so 270 divided by 3 is 90, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, this gives us 91. Well, 91 can no longer be divided by 3, can I be divided by 7, uh, by 5, but it can be divided by 7, we can divide 91 by 7, and we get 20, no, we get 13, 10 times 7 is 70, 3 times 7 is 21, 70 plus 7 is, uh, I mean 70 plus 21 is 91. So now we have the factors of 546, which means that 546 can be written as 2 times 3 times 7 times 13, 
all of course are prime numbers. And that's how we can factor numbers. We have two methods. We can either just go down the prime number list, starting with the smallest, or we can sometimes break the number into two or three numbers, and then we can find easily the factors of those. And that's how it's done.